And uh, Admirals, the, uh, Mr. Wilson and Chairman Courtney both alluded to the Black Sea area, and you uh, certainly timely, maybe not for the specific subject matter, but very timely. And while you discuss the capabilities that we have in the Black Sea region, it's my understanding that we do not have a strategy for the Black Sea region. Is that correct? Uh, maybe you could amplify more. I don't understand. My understanding is that NATO nor the U.S. has developed a strategy for the United for the uh, Black Sea region. I, I I'm unaware of uh, a specific Navy strategy for the Black Sea. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I have kind of a suggestion, Mr. Courtney, and this is not a suggestion for admirals, but for the, the people that are watching around the world. I think that the UN should declare a no-go zone in the Black Sea for Russian warships and for the skies above the Ukraine. And I think that the UN should ask the world to enforce those no-go zones. Ukrainian people and President Zelensky have done a tremendous job putting up a fight against superior forces. I have very serious reservations of whether or not they can hold on if the Russians are hitting them from the air, the land, and the sea. The world has an obligation, and perhaps it is the UN should, that should propose the no-go zones and have that vote, and that the world needs to be prepared to enforce those. 